What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and for today's WWE news video, there's quite a bit to talk about, quite a bit to talk about, including the latest on where is Triple H and Asuka, and are they coming back to WWE? Wonder what that, wonder what that's about. I'm also going to be talking about the latest on, uh, are we going to see Tyson Fury back in WWE? Maybe it's possible. Corey Graves apparently wants to wrestle Seth Rollins again. The question is where? And the and this first one that I'm going to be talking about, which has been, which has been, um, quite, which was quite the interesting development. Um, quite the interesting development. So, apparently, um, so, if you guys do watch AEW, um, there was a video that I had seen on, um, on Instagram that apparently Tony Khan bought Ring of Honor. Again, big shouts to AEW, no copyright, do you guys know how it works with the algorithm? But, apparently Tony Khan had bought, had bought Ring of Honor <clears throat> just recently, and apparently, um... Triple H wanted to buy Ring of Honor back in 2018. Um, and it was reported by, by Dave Meltzer, Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, that that they that WWE were in talks with Ring of Honor management about, about possibly buying out Ring of Honor. And um And apparently the report and and he he reported saying that WWE was going to shut Ring of Honor down completely and you and purchase the tapes, the tape library, which had early matches of several top WWE stars, including guys like including guys like Jeff Hardy, who now is on a part part of AEW, um, uh, CM Punk, Adam Cole. Um, all, all, you know, all, all these guys that are either still in WWE or left WWE. Uh, but apparently that did not come, come to pass as now, of course, to Ring of Honor has, has been bought by, by AEW. Um, I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not really sure what their, uh, what their other intentions were. Because if you really think about it. If you really think about it, Ring of Honor is one of the was one was one of the biggest indie promotions in the world, and you guys know there were a lot of superstars in WWE who came to WWE from from Ring of Honor, such as Adam Cole, such as you know you know Daniel Bryan, or I guess now Brian Danielson using using his real name. Um, you know Keith Lee, uh, you know, you know, you know Ricochet and CM Punk and several and so many other, so much other talent. You know Kyle O'Reilly and you know whatnot. They all came to WWE from from Ring of Honor to hone their craft as superstars and. One thing that that boggles my mind is what WWE was planning on doing with the talent of Ring of Honor because <clears throat> I assume some I I assume some of them were planning were I assume I assume they were planning to um to um put some of them on Raw Put put a you know put a few on SmackDown put and then put the rest on NXT or something like that but um but it did not come to pass <sighs> but I will admit um I will admit I have seen quite a few uh, uh Ring of Honor matches on YouTube including one um including uh two being you know, having involved um, um, Adam Cole, actually, uh, he went up against AJ Styles. He went up against he went up against Bobby Fish. Um, 
Chris Hero, I believe was his name, or Cassius Ono, for those who did not, who don't remember him from NXT. Um, I have to, I have to admit, now the world, now people, and now, you know, and of course, matches like those is, is, is the reason why Adam Cole became one of the hottest talents in the world. You know, you know, one of the biggest names in the, in the industry. So, I don't, I really don't have anything else, else to say about it, except that, I mean, if WWE did buy out Ring of Honor, what could have happened? It's basically the clear case of what could have. But, that being said, um, big question is, What's going on with Asuka? What's going on with Triple H? Are they coming back to WWE? So, there's been reports... So, as, as far as Asuka goes, there's been reports that she's been medically cleared. Um, um, apparently, PW Insider had reported that... Um, had reported that that Asuka is, is cleared to compete, but Fightful has stated... Otherwise, apparently they've stated. Apparently they've stated that she's not ready to go. As she put, as she sent out a tweet a while back, you know, you know, you know, not too long ago, saying, "Am I medically cleared?" So obviously, so obviously this, <clears throat> this, uh, <clears throat> This uh, bu this buys into the question: When are we going to see her back in WWE? Because if you guys are wondering, um, you know what has been going on with her, she had been dealing with a shoulder injury since last year, back in July, where she shared where, where she posted a photo of her in an arm brace in August. And if you guys don't don't remember, she competed in the women's money the bank in, in the women's money money in the bank ladder match last year, and that was how she got how how she got the injury. Which rumor has it that apparently um, um rumor has it that she. might not be able to make it. Um she might not be able to make it back before before WrestleMania cuz we're only just we're only just a few weeks away from WrestleMania and excuse me. Um but I'm assuming this would actually be I believe this would be the first time she would miss, she'll miss WrestleMania, if I'm correct on this. I gotta look back on, on on my card because I know that she debuted in WWE in the main roster uh, back in 2017, like right around like what was it TLC? If I remember right. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She debuted in the main roster um, at at TLC in twenty in twenty seventeen in October, and um, she had won the the twenty eighteen women's royal royal rumble match. Went on to WrestleMania, so this would be number one. Yeah, I, I do remember she was a part of the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal, so that's two.
And then I think she missed out on last year's WrestleMania. So this will actually be her second. Yeah, I believe this will be her second. The second time she'll miss WrestleMania. Um, actually, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. No, I was no, she she did she did compete last year at WrestleMania. So this would actually be her first the first time she'll miss WrestleMania if she's still not medically cleared, which is which is unfortunate. I will admit it is a bit a bit, a bit unfortunate, but as far as Triple H goes, apparently he's not coming back to WWE anytime soon. Um it's been reported by okay. What is up? I saw my laptop. My laptop being stupid. Um, it was it, it was reported recently by Mike Johnson of PW Insider. Again, big shout out. No copyrights, of course. You guys know how the house works with the algorithm, of course. Uh, he he reported that 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 Triple H um, has left has actually left WWE. Um, because of his cardiac, because of his cardiac um, uh, event, um, about about six seven months ago, if you guys remember, uh, he actually had heart surgery, um, and apparently his uh, his time with. With WWE as corporate Triple H, I guess, um, apparently will no longer. Apparently is. Uh, a bit up there, if you will. So if you guys don't know, he. Um, he ended up becoming the. The. Um, He became the executive vice president of of global talent strategy and development. Um, and we don't really know if he if if you if he will come back. Um, I on, on honestly, it's heart it, it it's it's heartbreaking, but I feel like. But I feel like he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because he's mentioned before, you know, with the arrival of of AEW, many people were speculating that he should that he should leave WWE for AEW and Triple H said, No, I'm not no. This is where I belong. WWE is where I belong. And he had been corporate, I guess, since I, I think since twenty eleven. I remember um he ended up becoming the COO, um, or, or I guess the chief operating operating officer of of WWE, and then he ended up getting getting demoted, or I guess he, I I think demoted or promoted to the to the executive vice president of global talent strategy and development, which is quite the honor, because by because by being in that position, he's able to. To help figure out, you know, where a certain show should be, you know, like, 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 let's say, you know, let's say, uh, let's say, let's say this year's, this year's, um, I'll say Extreme Rules. Let's just say that as an example. He can, he can pick out which city that you know that that event will take place in you know so that's pretty interesting i i think that i think that might be the case i don't i i believe that is the case but big shouts to triple h i hope he does come back um honestly i would love for him to stay with i i, I would love for him to come back to wwe maybe even take back nxt at at some point but who knows but who knows but now, but now the question is, the hell's, the hell? Sorry guys, there was something on my shirt. Alright, never mind. Sorry guys, there was something, something on my shirt. 
Anyway, now the question becomes, are we going to see Tyson Fury back in WWE? And apparently the answer is yes. Is yes. So recently, Ty so so recently, Tyson Fury was in an was in an interview with Give Me Sport. Big shout to them. No copyrights, of course. He confirmed, saying that he will come back to WWE. He said, "Quote one mil one million percent. You will see me in in the in WWE again. One million percent. You guys know that he is still the current WBC champ, um, the WBC heavyweight champion, and he confirmed that he will be back in WWE at some point. And his last and and the first match he had." was his last, uh, back in 2019, right before, just literally a year, I, I, when, hold on, let's see, I gotta go back, go, go back to my book, let's see, 2019, if I remember correctly, I believe, yeah, yeah, so it was just about two. It, it was about five, about five six months right before the pandemic started. He and he he went up against. Um, he actually went up against Braun Strowman, or right now Adam Share by his real name, um, which ended in, which ended really, which ended in. High controversy. So, yeah, if you guys are wondering, he won via countout, which was something that he did not want, apparently. But, um, but, <sighs> but, Apparently he's been uh apparently he's been uh exchanging uh words with uh with Drew McIntyre on Twitter and uh they they've te apparently they've teased a uh, a ma a match in the future. Um but we will see. We will see if, if we will see if and when he does come back. I feel like as I feel like if uh I feel like if 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 he does come back he could he could stay full time or he can stay or he can stay periodically as in like as in stay for st you know like kind of like how kind of like how um how Chris Jericho did when you know during 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 his last run in WWE, where he would stay periodically, you know when you know whenever his band Fozzy well what you know had had no tours going on, but when he did have 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 a tour, he would leave WWE to go you know play with Fozzy. I feel like that might be the case with with Fury because you know because so. If he doesn't have a you know ha ha have a boxing fight, you know for you know for the next like six seven eight months, you know then then he can stay you know he can work with WWE. But when he does ha have a fight, you know have have like a fight or two within three within like three months or or something, then he'll go back to boxing and and defend his title against whoever. So I feel like that might be the case, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. Um. Honestly, Tyson Fury in you know staying with WWE, I'm all for. But now the question is, are we going to see Corey Graves versus Seth Rollins? What's that about? What is that about? So 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 you guys know uh, Corey Graves had 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 revealed that he's been medically cleared for a potential in ring return, and he was on one ten. 110.7 star on demand um which is a which is a radio show of course big shout out again no copyrights he 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 recalled his match his his, his matches with Seth Rollins during his days in NXT and saying that he loved that that he's that he loves the current role that Rollins has now Graves said quote 
I would say right now, Seth. I would say right now, Seth Rollins. Rollins. Rollins, just because he's a guy that I always had great chemistry with in the ring in NXT, but he has just continued to get better and better and better, and is doing some of the best work of his career right now. While he may not be WWE champion, what he brings every night in. In this new persona with this with, with the dancing, he's so obnoxious and he gets under everybody's skin. I love what Robert Rollins is doing. I would love to mix it up with him one more time. His last match in WWE was in 2014. Was back in 2014 when he had to um, when he when you know this was right before he was forced to step away from the ring after a series of concussions. Which, I actually want to go, let me, let's see. I want to see about something really quickly. Because I believe his last match was a tag team match, if I remember correctly. I want to look that up really quickly. Um... Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Um... Uh, tch, 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 tch. Okay, so let's see here. Graves was reestablished as a villainous singles wrestler on November 14th with the win over Oliver Gray, following a submission victory over Yo Yoshitatsu in December. Um, and again, this and this article is actually off of off of Wikipedia. So again, big shouts to to Wiki. No copyrights, of course. Uh, Graves attacked attacked NXT champion Seth Rollins when he was awarded a title match. On January 2nd, 2013, in on NXT. Failed to capture the title despite winning via via DQ, following interference from Rollins' associates in The Shield. After singles victories over former partner Carter and Alex Riley, Graves faced Con Conor O'Brien in a number of number one contender matches. Graves transitioned to a feud with The Shield, challenging them to a match for costing him Title opportunities turning face in the process. He faced Rollins in a lumberjack match, which he lost the other which he lost when the other members of the shield interfered, therefore cementing his face turn. In May, Graves began feuding with the Wyatt family following a confrontation and la and later matched with leader Bray Wyatt after being eliminated by Wyatt in a battle royal. Graves teamed with Cash Sono to, un to unsuccessfully challenge Luke Harper and Air Rowan for the tag team title for the NXT tag team titles. Graves and Ono Graves, Ono, and Adrian Neville, or I guess Pac now in AEW, lost to the White family in a six-man tag. After the Whites injured Ono in storyline, Graves began regularly teaming with Neville, and on the July 18th episode of NXT, they defeated Harper and Rowan to capture the tag, the NXT Tag Team Titles. The duo held the titles for nearly three months before losing to the Ascension in September after failing to regain the titles. Graves, and Graves attacked Neville to provoke a feud that's turning heel. They traded victories before Graves suffered a legitimate concussion, rendering him temporarily inactive. He returned in January 2014 to enter a feud with Sami Zayn. Graves defeated Zayn on April 3rd, but was defeated in a six-man tag, teaming with the Ascension against Zayn and the Usos. Graves then suffered a second concussion, causing causing him to be absent for several months. Okay, so, okay, so, so I guess in a way it was Sami Zayn who, who I guess caused... Um, who I guess caused the um, the um, you know you know the the second the second concussion which is uh, um, um. 
So yeah, um, honestly, I, I I think honestly, um, seeing Corey Graves uh, face off against Seth Rollins one more time, I would love to see that. I think honestly, I think on paper, if you if you were to to look at this on paper, Seth Rollins versus Corey Graves on paper, it seems like a great match. But the thing is, is that with concussions, because truth be told, I've had, I, I've, I've actually had two concussions before. I've had two separate, I've, I've had two, or actually, no, I've actually had, um, I, I, I think I only had one concussion when I accidentally hit, hit, my, hit my right temple, and I can still feel it to this day, on, on the corner of a brick, many, uh, Many years ago, but um, but when you get concussions, especially in in WWE, you're pretty much out. You're pretty much out out of action for 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 years, for years, maybe even for maybe even a decade at the at the most. So for Corey Graves to 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 want to come back into the ring and. Try and would want to face face Seth Rollins, that right there is career suicide. But honestly, I would love. But truth be told, I don't know. I'm still kind of like effy about it. But but if if it happens, you know what? I'm all for it. But that brings me to to the question of the day: Who do you guys want to see Tyson Fury face upon his return? to WWE. Let me know in the comments below. And that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you guys are new to the channel and you guys want to see more WWE news video news videos which get posted every Thursday. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way and be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. All the links will be down in the description below. And if you guys have any family you guys want to send me and want me to open up on the channel, all the info will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.